TJ Tollerson here, founder of Rooster Sports, I'm here at the uh, Rev3 Triathlon in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm about to break down my bike and pack it in the hen house. Uh, you can see all the components that we have here. I got all the tools necessary to pack this. Uh, so we have the frame bag, the wheel bag, um, I have pipe insulation that I've pre-cut to fit all the dimensions of my tube, and there's two diameters of pipe insulation that come with it. Uh, there's the bag for your derailleur. There's a um, axle with a skewer in it right here, and then uh, I've got a bundle of 10 Velcro straps um, to secure all the pipe insulation. So uh, I'm going to break this down. All I need for tools, um, I've got some uh, grease, and I've got a set of Allen keys here. Um, so really all I need, uh, typically for your bike, you need about four, five, and six, maybe an eight for your pedals, uh, Allen keys, hex wrenches, uh, to disassemble your bike, and uh, we'll get it going here. Okay, so now that I took the pedals off, the next thing I'm going to do is take all these accessories off. Um, you see I've got my little uh, gel flask here, I'm just going to take that off, throw that to the side. Um, I've got my water bottles here, attached with some electrical tape, so I'm going to remove the tape. Um, pull the bottles off. I'll have to empty these uh, before I can fly with it. Um, we'll just take this off for right now. Set these to the side. Um, and I'll have to remove these with a the, uh, the two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, these water bottle cages here. But for now, I'm going to take the, uh, the seat off. So if take the saddle off on my bike, I've got one bolt. I need a five millimeter hex wrench. Um, and I'll just take this off. So got the saddle removed, set that to the side. Um, so the next thing I want to do while the wheels are still on, I'm holding my bike, is I'll take off um, the cockpit. So the first thing that I'm gonna, going to do here is actually remove the uh, the bull horns from the faceplate. So I've got four mounting screws here. Yep. Okay, so now that we've got the handlebars or the bull horns off, I put the faceplate back on the stem. The next thing that I'm going to do is actually uh, take the headset apart. So I'm going to start by loosening the top cap here. Um, and on my bike, I have one screw with a uh, uh, star nut in the bottom, so I'm just going to loosen the top cap um, until the screw comes all the way out. Uh, and then I've got two 5mm bolts on the side uh, to clamp down. So it's important when you build your bike to make sure that this bolt is tight, the top is tight before you tighten the, the uh, sides. So uh, once you remove those, we'll continue after that. Okay, so the last thing we'll do to disassemble your frame is actually take the derailleur off. Uh, this is just a 5mm Allen key. Um, slide it into the uh, um, hole in the derailleur here. Just turn it counterclockwise. Uh, remove the derailleur. Um, and we're actually going to stick the derailleur inside this rear triangle here. Um, so I'm going to bend the cable and just set it right there for right now. Um, the next thing we're going to do is grab all the pipe insulation over here. Um, and you can see I've already pre -cut, cut the pipe insulation to fit. And I've labeled each uh, piece of the pipe insulation with uh, the, the tube that it goes on. So this one you can see says down tube on it. It may be hard to see from the camera, but it's labeled. Uh, so I'll know exactly where to put all these. So I'm going to stick all these on there right now. Um, put them on the fork as well. And uh, then we'll continue from there. So now that I've got the pipe insulation on every tube of the bike, so I'm completely covered. Um, I've got, a, got it on the fork as well, so I'm covering the, for, the, the crown of the fork as well as both fork extensions. And I'm actually going to stick this fork and then Velcro strap it here. The next step I need to do is I need to take this axle that comes with a skewer. You get one of these when you purchase the case. I'll take this and uh, you can fully adjust it to fit in the rear stays. This is a very important step in packing your bike because it prevents the actual frame from being crushed on impact because it's going to sit on its side when it's in the air, airline uh, cargo. So I'll slip this in the back here, I'll tighten it down just like I would a normal skewer, uh, press it down, and then it's lo locked in there so it prevents the bike from being uh, smashed that way. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, rear derailleur and I'm going to put it in this derailleur bag. This comes with uh, the case as well. So I'm going to slide it in there, leave the cable hanging out, and then I'm just going to strap this around the outside of the rear stays here. 
then we have that all taken care of. The next thing that we need to do is we need to take each of these Velcro straps um, and secure all the areas. So all, over all these tubes, I'll put one here, one here. See what it looks like when I'm done strapping these. The Velcro straps are very simple. I'll start with the fork here. This is pretty easy. Um, I want to set the, the fork right here. I'm going to come all the way around the tubes with this Velcro strap. Bo catch both uh, both sides of the fork. All I'm going to do is insert the Velcro strap and cinch it down nice and tight against the frame. Um, you can see I'm directly underneath the chain ring here with the, with the top of the fork. So that hands and I'll, my brakes are on, but most people's brakes will actually come off um, and be attached to uh, the cables here. But I want to put the brakes facing down um, and I'm actually going to load this upside down so these will actually face up in the in the case. Um, I'll continue to strap all these cases and we'll take a look at what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so now we've got the bike all, all packed and Velcro strapped with the foam on. And this is, I'm going to take a good look at this because this is what it should look like. You see I've got uh, Velcro straps on the, on the entire rear triangle on all the, I have one here that attaches to the bullhorn. Pay attention to how I strap the, uh, the, the bars here. Now, if your aero bars uh, are not attached to your stem, they can come completely off and you can move all that in here to this center space. Um, or if you want to pull your aero bar extensions all the way out, you can actually, I would recommend putting them here against the, uh, uh, with the down tube. So, you've got three straps here against the, uh, the fork and the down tube together. One on the head tube that attaches to the other side of the bullhorn. And then three here that attach the bullhorn and my arrow bars to the down uh, to the top two. Um, I'm actually going to load this in the case uh, from the top side, so it's actually going to fit in the case just like this, um, with with the uh, head tube this way and the, and the uh, top tube on the bottom. Uh, so you can see I have roughly the diamond shape. So I'm going to take this now, um, bring the case over here, and slide it in. Um, I want you to take a good look at the inside of the case here. We'll take, take the shoulder strap off. So the inside of the case, I've got one pocket here where I'm going to put my accessories. You can see me unzip this. So I'll set uh, the, the seat post and the saddle, the pedals, um, and a few tools as well inside this inside pocket. Uh, but I've got three pieces of plastic, um, one on the bottom and two on each of these sides. So there's plastic with foam on it, and they're all vocal. So I'm actually going to Velcro this and enclose the entire frame of the bike with, uh, with this foam with uh, plastic on the, on the back side of it. So for now I'm just going to open the case up as big as I can. I'm going to pick up the frame. I'm going to set it in here with the head tube at the small end. Again, the, t the top tube is facing down. So I'm going to set this in here and I'm going to wrap this around the entire side of the frame. So there we have it. I'll Velcro those and that will actually overlap on the frame okay. as I zip it up. So before I zip it up, I'm going to set the rest of the accessories in. So I'm going to set this uh, uh, saddle and seat post inside this inside pocket. Set some pedals, saddle clamp. That'll probably do it for today, so I'll zip that inside pocket, and uh, now we're just going to zip the uh, entire frame up inside here. Okay, so now that we have the bike in, in the case, I'll put some uh, tool bag in here as well. Um, I'm going to wrap the handle around, remember black side out, so yellow side down, we'll wrap all the way around the handle here, um, and then we'll uh, tighten the compression straps around it so I'll just snap these in, pull the tube, make it nice and tight around the frame uh, on both sides here so attach this guy as well. Pull it down, tighten it, you're good. Uh, it comes with a shoulder strap so you attach the shoulder strap diagonally to it. There you have it. Pick it up. Less than 30 pounds. It's your bike, tools, everything in here. Put your wetsuit, pump, a few other accessories in here if you want. So that's it. You can walk to the airport just like this, and uh, I can guarantee you most of the time they won't even ask what's in the case. So, um, 62 liter inches, 30 along the bottom here, 24 inches high, 8 inches wide. There you have it. That's the uh, front bag of the hen house.